Next, we have um, Jamie Stokes uh, from Cox Enterprises and Chris Harr, from, formerly from um, Comcast, who will be sharing the uh, strategies or lessons learned from two award award winning experts. So over to you. All right, thank you. Thank Jojo. you. I'm going awesome. to share my screen here. Just want to make sure that you can see it. Yes. Okay. We there doing? it We're is. Good? All right. All right. Well, thank you, Coco. Thank you to all of our Swoop friends for having us here today. Chris and I are certainly big fans of the Swoop team um, and just thrilled to be part of this uh, inaugural SharePoint Festival. So uh, as Coco mentioned, I'm Jamie Stokes, joined by Chris Herrer, and we're excited to share some lessons today that we've learned over the years while creating SharePoint intranets within our organizations. Um, so just a little bit of a backstory as to why Chris and I are here presenting together. Uh, Chris and I are former colleagues. We used to work together at Cox. Uh, so back in 2017, we launched a very successful SharePoint classic intranet uh, for our company, and we were honored with some awards for its design and its personalization. Fast forward a couple of years, Chris uh, moved over to Comcast. I stayed at Cox where I took that SharePoint Classic intranet and I relaunched it on SharePoint Modern. And just last year, that intranet won the, um, the Digital Workplace of the Year Award from DWG. Um, so Chris and his team from Comcast have also just recently had some incredible success. They um, have won many awards, uh, one in particular that they just won recently, the reworked Impact Award for Best Use of Workplace Technology. So all that to say, while we've been in different companies now working on various projects, um, we still have continued to collaborate with one another. We're really passionate about the work that we do, and we love finding best practices for successful internet. So we thought we'd share a few of those strategies here with you all today. So Chris, um, can you give everyone an overview of what we're going to cover? I certainly can, and and I'm going to apologize in advance if I yawn here and there. I've been up for 31 hours and traveling for the last 24 to get to my location here, um, so I apologize in advance. I'm a little um, off right now, but it's let's not do because this. I'm boring. It's just because Chris is tired. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Jamie and I were talking and we're like, what should what should we talk about? You know, there's there's so much we could talk about with designing intranets and doing all the customizations, but we were we're talking and we're like, hey, let's talk about the three shuns which you're seeing on screen: customization, personalization, and integration, which to us really make, especially in SharePoint, make a great intranet. And that's what we've been doing for years. Um, and what's what's made, I think, what we've developed together and apart um, special with what, what we've been building. So um, those are the three we're really going to touch on. And then so we're just going to do a quick overview of what those three kind of mean, a couple key points. And then we're going to go into some actual, um, I'm not going to say demo, but some some imagery of the things we've created that really incorporate all of these things. So, Jamie, I'll let you take it on the customization piece. All right, so when we talk about customizing a SharePoint site, there are certainly many schools of thought about the extent to which you should add customization. So Chris and I have always tended to lean, we're more pro customization because it's really these enhancements that have allowed us to go beyond the normal out of the box branding and functional capabilities. We just had some specific workflows, some business needs, some use cases where customizations just allowed us to do more. So we are big on design. We're always trying to make the best experience possible for our employees as well as our content admins. So customizations just uh, improved those experiences. So I understand and we I probably have. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, and I think, you know, SharePoint or Microsoft, I should say, not SharePoint. Um, they are they're bringing that in more and more with their new functionality that they're that they're putting out there. I know that with the branding consistency, they they are now doing this the branding stuff. You can do the fonts and you can do there's some new image banners that are coming out. Um, 
this month or next month, I believe. Um, but they're they're starting to do that. We were just doing it a little earlier, and that's why we did customizations with were, were to do those things. And now they're starting to bring those in, which is great. So you can do it out of the box, which is going to certainly save money because customizations Absolutely. definitely cost a pretty penny when you want to do that. Yeah, definitely looking forward to seeing some of those uh, newer enhancements coming up from Microsoft. So, Chris, maybe you can tell us more about why personalizing your SharePoint site is important. Well, personalization is obviously key to engagement. Um, everyone wants, you know, I'm going to use my tagline that I've been using for God, God knows how long. Everyone wants or we should provide a weekend experience during the week. Um, always through the years, you know, you're on the weekends, you're doing your thing, you're on all these sites, you're on Twitter, everything's customized, it's all your information, and then you come to work, you go on an internet, and it's like, oh, okay. So really, the personalization piece is is really important. Targeted content, obviously, um, you want to do that. Customized dashboards, um, that, that can be multiple things. I just wanted to bring up, because we're not actually showing any imagery of uh, Viva Connections in this deck, but the Viva Connections, um, what we've done is we we really customized those dashboard cards and brought in the integrations into those to really personalize them. Um, so that's a really strong thing to do. Um, obviously, alerts and notifications when you can really get down and personalize those and target people, um, it makes a big difference. And then personal profile management that we have a um, uh, what we did our people profile in, towards the end of the deck um, that I'll talk about, but really bringing in that personalization through integrations through Workday and Azure and kind of blending them all together to really create a cool profile management page. Um, so those are just a couple things on personalization. And then if you want to go on to integration. Um, obviously with integration, you want to keep everybody within that ecosystem. So that's why you bring integrations in, bring your your HR, whatever system you're using, bring those in. Like PTO, I think I said just in an interview the other day, or the other day, last month, um, that I think most intranets, or at least 90%, probably have PTO integrated in. So you can just get your PTO in one click nowadays. Um, but that's a that's a key integration, but bringing information into it like a seamless hub so you don't have to all that context switching. I forgot what the exact numbers are, but people context switch from app to app like over a thousand times a day, which is crazy. Um, seamless collaboration, um, integrating, you know, Teams, Outlook, Engage, all of that um, really just makes it more seamless. If you're doing automated workflows, those are great integrations. Um, you know, you can do all of that stuff with Power Automate. Um, if you feel you want to do that, it really does make a big difference. Um, and then reporting and analytics. Um, I know at Comcast, we we put Adobe on everything. We measure everything on Comcast now, and we just have Adobe just covering everything. So we can go everything from content, but also to user experience. So we can really see what's working, what's not. Is the navigation working? You know, what do we need to change? But then also up from a comms perspective, what's working, what's not, and looking at that. If you want to uh, hit the next slide. So really taking these three things, you know, by leveraging these three, um, you can really create an awesome SharePoint internet that meets your needs, your immediate needs, but really can evolve with the changing requirements and ultimately just drives great engagement, productivity, and collaboration to create a great system. So on that note, let's do a show and tell. Um, I know the first one is going to be something Jamie created on Cox One. This is the leaders hub. Um, one thing you know we all talk about is the front line. How do we get to the front line? And leaders are such a core piece of getting to the front line. So I I love this piece, and I know we were prior to me um, leaving Comcast, we were working on a leaders hub as well. But this is I just love this because this targets the supervisors and above, and I'll, I'll let Jamie kind of take it from here to give us a little show and tell here. Yeah, so the reason why we shared this screen is because we really felt like it had, uh, it was a great example of all the three things we just mentioned, customization, personalization, integration. Um, and where you'll find that here on the screen, and first of all, Chris is right, um, our, our frontline leaders or our frontline employees through the research that we did said that the way they get their information is from their leaders. 
So we wanted to make sure with this new leadership that we were equipping leaders with the information to then disseminate and share with their teams. So it was so important to us that leaders knew about this site and knew this information that we elevated it into the uh, navigation. So this is a custom navigation at the top here. So if you are a leader in the organization, you see this leaders hub link in the top navigation. When you land on this page, you can see we did a little bit of design work. This this header actually is a custom header. It's not an out of the box. It gives us a little bit more of an impact. More height allows us to um, add some additional text to the page. You can see these little boxes here. This really calls attention to what do leaders need to know this month? What actions do what? they need to take? What do I need to do? So that's what um, this area here is. Um, just moving down some of the, um, you know, we did some personalization, a, a row of that you don't see here. We did um, some even sub-targeting to a more specific leader audience on this page so that they can see specific news. Uh, down at the bottom here, um, this is an integration that we did. So at the very bottom where it says leadership training, uh, we uh, did an integration with our learning management system. So the learning team creates, they curate um, courses from our learning management system. They add it to a playlist. And then that playlist, the details of those courses from that playlist then automatically get presented here in this little widget. So that was important for us to bring that learning management system to the forefront to our leaders through this leadership experience. And I actually love, well, I love everything on this page, but the the manage my team piece, that is so helpful because all those things, they all go to different deep links to different tools and bringing it all into one place for managers to do what they need to do on a, I'll say a daily basis whether that's, you know, uh, doing people's time and approving it and all that type of stuff. Um, I just love that that piece right there. That That's awesome because it, it again, it comes down to less clicks and and, you know, doing those integrations. Um, it's it's so important. One thing we did with the, the PTO was we saved five to ten million clicks a year. Um, from just integrating PTO. So doing those types of things and saving the clicks, it makes a world of difference. And that's, um, you know, really important for when you're getting in there and want to move quickly. Yeah, it's so, kind of what you did here on your resources page, right, Chris? This is Comcast that's now. That's very similar. So this is, yeah, this is the Comcast now. This is what we call my resource page. This was kind of a, the next stage of what Jamie and I created back in 2017 which was called the my hr i'm forgetting dashboard, dashboard thank you um and it was it was very hr specific um but this if you can see I, don't, I know it's kind of small but those three boxes at the top and this this goes into customization personalization integration um the top left box that's your pto and that's being brought in through workday um and then the middle box actually has that has workday uh, learning and development, um, and then it has your Workday inbox. Now you could obviously, if we use Workday, you could whatever HR system you're using, you can use. Um, and then the right box is my HR, and that's the my pay, the HRSS stuff. The right box is actually targeted. We target that by country uh, because every country has different payroll systems and different HR systems. Um, so we target that by country, so everyone gets their own specific stuff. Um, my tools and apps that is specific um to what tools and apps you use that's completely personalizable if that's a word um so you can go in there and those actually filter through to your home page my links very similar those are your links those filter to the main nav um and then we have your news um we also have grow your skills that is the l d uh, learning and development coming from workday as well um, so those integrations and then the bottom, we we actually have that that green box at the bottom. That is Microsoft Insights, which takes you to um, or is it workplace analytics? It's either insights or workplace analytics. I forgot which one was the uh, one that comes with the E3 license. Um, that actually goes to your personal Microsoft um, analytics. So you can go there and that's got like five pages of analytics. Um, so, but it's really all about you as a person. Um, and when you go there, as it says, it's personalized for you, Chris, that that's my page. Um, so, but again, bringing in all three of those to really create 
this kind of personalized ecosystem of your stuff that you can get to really quick. Speaking and then of your stuff, next, this is the profile page. Speaking of our stuff, this is the profile page. This is what I was talking about earlier. Uh, I wanted to just give you what the, the full kind of view of what that looks like. Um, you know, all the intranets that come, you know, the out of the box ones, everything has always this profile and how do you find people fast? And everyone does it a little differently. Um, we did our own um and this is all custom built and actually if you want to go to the next slide so it just kind of breaks it up and blows it up a little bit um this is you know it's pulling in data it's obviously you got your azure data um and all, all your microsoft data but what we did is we also integrated for the stuff like ask me about past projects education cert certifications that's all from workday um so we did these integrations from workday uh to bring those in and this way you have this custom page and this this particular page actually has been hit over 800,000 times since launch and we launched in July, end of July. Um, it, and the only way to get to it is if you're searching for somebody. So that that's how often people are searching for people. And this comes up and it gives all that information. You can chat with them right from here, but this was highly custom. And a big one is that that 7.5 years and 43%, 57%. We had that on the old internet. It was custom built. We made sure we brought that into here because everyone loves that because it's like, oh, I've been here this long and oh my goodness, 50% more people have been here longer than me. Um, it was a fun thing. We wanted to keep that. So we, we brought that in. Um, but this, this again, this really brings together customization, integration, and personalization. I love this. I'd, I'd like to steal this capability. <laughs> um, so, Chris, funny, I'm just looking at a comment in the chat. Somebody said, wow, this doesn't even look like SharePoint. <laughs> and thank you for saying that. Um, <laughs> I was I was actually in the Q&A. I was monitoring the Q&A. So thank you for saying that doesn't look like SharePoint and, and nothing against SharePoint. But at, in that interview I did last month, we actually talked about that is why did we always go and do these customizations? Because the one thing I always I love SharePoint. Don't get me wrong, I love SharePoint. It does so much. But every intranet that's built in SharePoint out of the box looks like SharePoint out of the box. And I didn't want our intranet to look like SharePoint out of the box. I wanted it to look branded as a Comcast intranet. Um, so that's that's very important to me. So that's why we do those customizations. So I appreciate that comment. I agree, I agree. Um... So this is uh, the, going back to Cox, this is the Cox One homepage, uh, the lengthy scroll. So we separated it into, into a few uh, layers here. Um, but I was, funny, I was on a call with Sue Hanley yesterday. Some of you on this call may know Sue. She's a, a Microsoft MVP. She's an internet guru. She's uh, just amazing. So when I was talking to her, she said something that that struck me and I wrote it down because everything Sue says, I tend to write down anyway. But she said, a good internet homepage speaks to me and us, which I think alludes to the fact that overall, you need to give me, Jamie, a reason to come to the internet. So that was just, I loved how she phrased that. Um, and I, I hope that you see here on our Cox One homepage that um, we did try to bring in the, you know, what's in it for me, not just what's in it for every person at the organization globally and holistically. So just a few things I'll call attention to, to really give it that personalized experience on the homepage. Uh, it's, it's our featured news area. So uh, we have this hero banner. This really just calls attention to what's important today, this top story. But then we also have our news here. Um, on the left-hand side, we have our national news, so everyone sees that. But then on the right-hand side, this is news because I sit in Atlanta, I see that my regional news here. So this is served up to me, but not served up just in um, the typical SharePoint news way. This is a highly curated experience, and that's why we wanted to go custom with this, is we, we wanted to give our comms team the ability to specifically curate which articles are going to go in which spots, uh, what was important to, to know that day. So that's why we kind of did this customization of a featured news. A couple other areas that we really tried to personalize this, my resources section, similar to what Chris did on Comcast now. Think of all the tools and resources you use every day. You can bookmark those and those flow into your homepage into the my resources section. So this is what I access most often. 
We have a news subscription section, and I love this. So employees get to choose the topics of, you know, the type of news they want to receive, and all of that news when it gets published appears in this section in their personalized news area. And then finally, I'll just call attention to uh, this little Amplify box. So Amplify is the rewards and recognition tool that was, um, it's still a very popular application um, at Cox. So what we did was we kind of brought the best of Amplify into this experience on our internet. So when we go in, what we see in this Amplify box is people around me in my network are being recognized. So their names appear. So I, I automatically identify, oh, I recognize that person. They're being recognized. Um, so we brought the recognition in. We can see our points balance. So I can go and redeem those points for rewards. I can go and recognize an employee right from here. So that integration that we did really brought that experience of a popular application right here on our homepage. And we were doing, and, and if you looked at, we don't have the Comcast Now homepage on this, but there are a lot of similarities, um, especially with the featured news and the, the tools. Um, very similar because um, just ha having that control is, is big with the whole manual thing in the featured news. But we have a lot of similarities between uh, our homepages, quite honestly. Um, and they, the, the news that targeted or subscription based news is a big one um, because you can you can subscribe to tags business tags they're just topic tags it's a really great way to do it um, this is the actual the tools app that we created uh, for Comcast now um, and this is where you pick and choose your tools there's uh, there's over 200 in there uh, the first page is where you see that that line on the left those are the top 10 that flow through to your home page and you can just literally drag and drop however you want them you can put as many in there as you want it's just the top 10 are going to go to your front page um, we have the recommended ones and then the tab to the right which is add tools and apps um, you can click on the letter you can just search it pops right up and all you do is go to the right and hit add to um, you know add and it just automatically pops in there but this was this was custom built but we really wanted to give that personalization of tools because that was one of the issues that we have i think it was about ten thousand tools um and not obviously not all ten thousand are in here um but we have like ten thousand tools uh, at comcast so um getting the most popular ones and people can make requests and we could add them in here and it's it's growing and growing um again i left last month but i'm pretty certain that uh just because I left doesn't mean people are not requesting tools. Um, so that's going to keep growing and growing and growing. Um, it is, and I'm just going to answer that question, is this all upgrade safe? Yes, we took a lot of time and concern into how this was all built, and we have a great internal operations team that helps. And um, someone asked me that um, a little while ago, just about, you know, when Microsoft, they they do their pushes, um, there's a break and actually it has been knock on wood. It has been fantastic. Nothing has broke. The only um, thing that we have a minor problem here and there is with some of the news, not not the feature news, but when search, it well, actually does affect the feature news. Um, when search uh, gets a little uh, quirky, um, the things that are very driven by search um, will slow down. Um, but a lot of the stuff, a lot of the personalization stuff is really list driven in the back end. Um, search some on some of them search affects it, others it doesn't. So that's the only time that it gets a little quirky here and there, but it's been really good so far. And our again, our ops team at Comcast is spot on and just dynamite. Um, and they are on it all the time and working directly with Microsoft. Um, so let me and we're going to get to questions. So just to kind of bring it all together, um, you know, I always say today people expect information to find them. We shouldn't have to go find it. Um, so really by leveraging the customizations, personalizations and integration capabilities, you know, you can really create a branded personalized user experience that just really drives and brings the right tools and information to employees um, and really just creates that productive, engaged and informed workforce. I'm in comms. Um, I call it comms tech, so I'm really all about communications and getting that stuff out there and understanding what's working and what's not, but also really about user experience. Um, so 
driving that productive, engaged, and informed workforce is really important. And I think with these kind of mix of three, you can really drive it forward and create something special with SharePoint. And that's why we're here at the festival. <laughs> so, um, so Jamie, I think we have a thank you slide. So thank you. I will. I know there's a whole bunch of questions. Um, yeah. So let's. Yeah, Gemma, uh, do you want to help us? Gemma, yeah, do you want to answer those questions? We've, yeah, we've got five minutes or so. Then, um, so I'm going to go through some of the questions. But like with the other speakers, what I've asked is if you wouldn't mind going into the Q and A afterwards. And I can see Kieran on your team, Jamie, has been going in and answering some for yeah. us. So that thank you, amazing. Kieran. Thank you, Kieran. Um, but so a couple of questions here. So a lot on the customization, um, and so I think some of them are going to be answered. But um, Someone's just asked, so Sarah's just asked, do you have any features that you spent money on to customise that? Do you know that's now going to be available in the roadmap? And I do know we've got Microsoft speaking in a minute. Um, is there anything available now that? Well, some of the stuff with the like the fonts and the branding, um, yeah. we did do custom work and that's starting to come out now um, in the feature set of SharePoint, which which is great. I mean, God bless that they're doing it. Um, I think that's fantastic. Uh, the the actually the the banner um, one I believe is uh, that's the something that the news banner yep, that's coming out soon yeah well. that's yeah. coming out soon I believe mm -hmm. um, and those were things that we did spend some money on to do um, so both of us um, so it's it's great that they are doing that now um, you know do we throw out our web parts who knows if the out of the box ones are just as good maybe we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's something to think about, isn't it? And it's forever involving because I just love like just listening to how you are personalizing your intranets, how you're setting up your colleagues, your managers for success, and really the thought that's going into your builds is just amazing. Um, someone's actually asked a question with all the customization web parts, do you have any issues with things like load times on your any of your intranet pages? Does does that hinder so you at all? It doesn't hinder. I mean, some pages with all the integrations, it does take a little bit more time, but it's it's nothing that's, I mean, I always have the little clock on my Chrome that tells me load time. And I, I think the most it ever hits is like 2.4. Um, okay. And, but nine times out of 10, it's, it's you know, under a second to 1.2. Yeah, um, and we did extensive page load testing before we launched to tr to try to optimize and get it down to minimal, right? And there so. is there is a tool out there, and we can take credit for that tool. I believe that Microsoft built, if I remember correctly, <laughs> um, about the page load time and all of the calls that you're sending to the Microsoft servers. Because the more customization you do, and the more personalization you do, the more calls you're sending up to the Microsoft servers. Um, and the SQL servers, and you have to, there's a delicate balance of what you can shoot up for personalization um, before Microsoft is going to say, you can't do that, um, yeah. or that's too many. So there's there were a lot of back and forth going on with how many you can do, and, and they have it documented. It shouldn't be more than, is it six, 15? I forgot what it is at this point. Um, and I, I know when we first built our first internet, it was it was something like we had like 76 um, and, and it was crazy. And then we worked mm -hmm. on that and got it better. But you have to work, work through that stuff and just, you know, work yeah. with them and work with your developers. And and I do want to just call out uh, I know I, I've seen a couple right point things here and, and right point worked with Comcast, right point worked with Cox and they they did most of the development work. Um, so they they are top notch. So I, d I definitely want to call right point out how awesome they are with the development uh, in SharePoint. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think Tom might even be on this on on the webinar. Um, we've got I think one quick question quickly, and then I'll let you go in and, and answer. Um, did you need a custom API for the LMS integration? I think that was a really nice addition to your intranet. Yes, um, those were, and I'm sure yours was custom as well. I know ours yes. ours was custom. Um, everything we had to do was custom. The the um, for workday, um, those were not just out of the box. Um, 
for us, so we had to custom build those APIs. Um, I think Workday is slowly creating more and more out-of-the-box APIs to do that type of stuff, um, but as, as we were building it, that was not available at the time, so we had to do custom APIs for that stuff. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So we're out of time now, but thank you so much. Like, if you want to use your reactions again, because fantastic, our speakers today have just been phenomenal. Um, Chris and Jamie, are you open as well to for people connecting with you on LinkedIn? That's what I've been telling everyone. Um, because hey, it's can so I, useful. Just before we uh, just before we we, we move on, Jenna, uh, just want to uh, so there's obviously a lot of experience here um, and the partnership between Chris and, uh, and and Jamie. It's like I love to see the knowledge sharing flowing. Um, Chris, I, I know that with that kind of experience, like I'm imagining all the, the knives you have in your back and you know the, 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 the wounds you've had. And, and I also <laughs> noticed it said it's a former Comcast. I, I hope they <laughs> I know they treat you very well. You've had a blast. But I also know that mm -hmm. um, that the world is open for you at the moment. Uh, and I just think if any of you out there that's uh, looking for an opportunity to get your hands on this kind of incredible uh, level of, of experience with uh, with customizations, with SharePoint, um, working with uh, with working with companies and making all this happen. Uh, here's an, uh, an outstanding opportunity to get you on board. Yes. Yeah, connect with me. Um, absolutely. Yeah. I'm LinkedIn um, out there. Jamie's out there. Um, connect with us um, and we'll do some cool things. Uh, Got plenty of ideas. Thank you. <laughs> so, thanks. Um...